Stars, there is your news, your way. Unproven medicine, desperate families, a 10 news follow -up. tonight at 11. <laughs> Uh, sudden onset of fever, chills, and overall weakness. <sighs> Emily, can you please check him in? It's getting a little crazy around here. What's going on? We don't know yet. We're just trying to take it one patient at a time. Okay. That's what? Five patients in less than an hour with encephalitis symptoms? We got an epidemic on our hands here. If we don't get a handle on it, it's going to take out the entire town. You need to call me. We're having a crisis here. It's an epidemic of encephalitis, and it's a highly contagious. Cameron's with Graham, and so far they're okay, but I need it at the hospital, and I can't make it to your surprise. You need to call me. Just come home, okay? Uh, Emily, I'm sorry. Just call me. Okay. 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 Ok
Lulu's already been admitted, so is Sky. I'm trying to get a hold of Lucky right now. Can you tell us about anyone else you came in contact with? Everyone at the house could have been infected. I feel pretty good, at least, Miss Emily. Is my father still out of town? Yes, he is. And your mother's already at the hospital. So are Dylan and Georgie and, um, and Miss Tracy. But, you know, I haven't seen Miss Skye anywhere. She's here. Um, Alcazar brought her in. Alice, you and Cook should get to the hospital immediately. This is serious. Okay. All right, I have to go. How bad can things get? Code blue. I feel We're running out of beds. Okay. We'll triage the critical patients, and we'll just try and make everyone else as comfortable as possible. We need to interview all the patients, find out where they've been, who they've had contact with. We're already shorthanded. Get some volunteers. Are you a doctor? Have a chat to the young lady here, will you? And tell her that while she's busy looking at the print quality on my credentials, that people are getting sicker and maybe dying. Scorpio may not be the nicest man in the world, but he does have official credentials and he does know what he's doing. Let's do it. Hmm? All right. This is no ordinary encephalitis. I've never seen anything like this. I have. Mark him If we're going to contain it, we've got to quarantine the hospital. Wait, do you want to lock down the entire hospital? Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. Not unless they're symptomatic. Well, what about the hospital staff? I mean, they've already been exposed. It's a bit late in the day for hazmat suits. Let's just go for standard precautions, quarantine gowns and gloves, and beyond that, we're all at risk. Someone's got to follow through on the outside with the interviews. Go to the locations, and anyone who's been exposed... What are you doing? We're getting out of here now. Sam, there's no ocean Danny, here. Danny, it's okay. I'm gonna take care of her. I'm gonna make sure nothing bad happens to either of you. Sam. No, Sam, don't be sick. Sam. Sam. Sam, can you hear me? Okay. Where's Michael? He's upstairs with Morgan and Letitia. They're fine. You, on the other hand, are going to the hospital and don't argue with me, okay? With you. No, my, hey, you got nothing to worry about. I'm it's fine. It's probably just something your dad ate. Okay, just stay here with Letitia. I'm going with dad. Sweetie, I don't have time to argue with you right now. Then don't. He is your son. You you know that, right? Yeah, he gets it from you. Let's go. Right. Come on. Just, I'm, you know. No, you're going. Good. I already had this conversation with my father. I'm not leaving. The situation has changed. We're about to quarantine the hospital. Which means every doctor is needed. Robin, you have HIV. <sighs> You're at a greater risk if you get infected. I live with the risk every day. Listen to me. Your immune system is compromised. Encephalitis could possibly bring on full-blown AIDS. Tell me something I don't know. Get in, or I will carry you in. Robin! Sam's in trouble. Take care of the incoming patients. Robin. I have to get to Sam. Antibiotics were up, but it hasn't helped. All right, well, we have to give it time. I'm afraid you're going to have to go down to the cafeteria. Are you kidding me? Get out of my no, way. No, 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 you cannot. Leave now. Well, listen, I'm not a patient here, so you can't stop me. I just brought in a co-worker. I'm not even sick. Yeah, but you've been exposed, and that's why we have to monitor. Oh, no, you keep us trapped here, and I promise you, lady, people will get hurt. Look, I know this is a, a frightening situation. Oh, Forget it. No, no, no please, please. <laughs> This hospital is now under quarantine. My children are waiting for me at home. Well, ma'am, I suggest you make a call and have somebody be with them because nobody's leaving. Oh, Dr. Gray. There's been a viral outbreak. Any of you could be infected and not know it yet. If you leave, you run the chance of spreading to your children, to your workplace. We're not sick. You can't keep us here. Sir, this isn't multiple choice. I'm leaving. Who's with me? Where's the commissioner? He's supposed to be here handling this. You looking for me? Nobody goes anywhere. 
I just wanted to see if you were real. Now that I see that you are, I can kill you. It's nice to see you're still working out. Is there some top secret reason why you spent the last 15 years pretending to be dead? Let's, let's keep the anger in check until after the crisis. We will deal with the anger right now, Robert. You mean the woulda, coulda, shoulda? Is that what you think I'm about? How about thanks for raising my daughter, Mac? Thanks for raising my daughter, Mac. I was in over my head, Robert. This amazing girl looking to me for answers. Half the time, I got it wrong, and the other half, I screwed it up. I'm not gonna make any excuses, but I had a few circumstances that were beyond my control. You'll just never get it through your thick skull. When you died, you gave me a life, you and your buddy Frisco Jones. And it was my privilege to raise those girls. I've got a real family, Robert. What do you have? You know, you don't have to apologize to me. Apologize to your daughter, Robin. Remember her? Any of the encephalitis strains we're familiar with. It's virulent and arbitrary. Patients show all the standard symptoms, headache, high fever, but once they get to seizures and delirium, I'm not sure there's any coming back from it. Oh. The natives are getting restless, folks. Now, how long before this blood test? I'll put a rush on the test. It'll be here soon. Well, then what? We don't have a cure? But we will try to alleviate the symptoms. Oh, I've, I've got to call Alan. Chief of staff should be here. Well, these antibiotics are having minimal effect, too. There's acetaminophen for headaches, Fentoid for seizures, but none of these kill the virus. So we've got to isolate the carrier, and this brings us full circle back to the chimp. And Luke, because my brother is the only patient who's getting better instead of worse. Luke Spencer had all the early symptoms. He was a point of contact for the second wave of patients, and now apparently he's fighting off the virus. Luke may have a natural immunity. Excuse me, but we have another problem. Oh, great. The monkey's escaped. Sorry, I can't find you around. Okay. How are you? I can't find Lucky. He won't answer his cell phone. He was planning this big romantic weekend and I... Because you were in on him, weren't you? Oh, my God. We have hopeful news. Luke was the first person with this, and he's recovered spontaneously. Well, how come that's good, Dr. Scorpio? Uh, it may mean that Luke has something in his body that could fight the disease. Can we give some of it to Sam? That's the idea. We're trying our best to isolate the antibodies. Okay, how long is that going to take? Well, we have the chimp's blood in the lab for testing. Unfortunately, he managed to escape from his cage. They're 90% sure that he's the carrier. Oh, there he is! It's not your fault, Uncle Luke. There's no way you could have known that chimp was sick. I can't figure this out. I'm on this South Sea island. I wake up. The whole village is in flames. All the people are gone. The only living thing is the poor little chimp. He's scared to death, so I bring him home. It's the last time I show compassion. And then Robert Scorpio shows up like five minutes later, as if to say, hey, we're the government, and we know what's going to happen before it happens. Here we go, the Paranoia Express. Dude, an entire village disappeared. And now we've got this raging epidemic. You you stumbled onto something bad. Oh, what movie is it this time, Dylan? I mean, government conspiracies, secret agents, uh, exotic diseases taking out entire towns. I don't think this is a movie. The chimp was not from the Markham Islands. Yes, which means somebody went through the trouble to put him there. What if they infected the chimp on purpose? You know, so they could they could study the disease in, in a controlled environment, see how fast it spreads, how lethal it is, and they pick some some little unknown village on a on a tropical island in a third world country, and and they just let it loose like a biological bomb, and then after they get their test results, they destroy the evidence. Only the thing is, they didn't count on Dr. Von Sch Schemer, Mom. What you showing up and stealing their monkey? You know, I like a good conspiracy theory as much as the next guy. And I'm in awe of your imagination, young Spielberg. 
But even for me, this is a little over the top. Fine, then, then you give me another reason why Robert Scorpio chose this time of all times to come back to life. Now until we find the source or an antidote, the best thing is to keep the patients quarantined in the hospital for the citizens of Port Charles. Under whose authority? The Medical Rescue Agency and the City Council of this great town. Who'll be making the decisions here? Let's just stay focused on the immediate problem. Now, this man is patient zero. His name is Luke Spencer, and if you've had any contact with him in the last 24 hours, you should seek medical attention. I think if we all cooperate here, we can most definitely get through this thing. Now, this particular strain is highly contagious and it spreads quickly. If you're suffering headaches, dizzy spells, or feel disorientated in any way, seek medical attention immediately and stay away from anybody outside of this hospital. If you're not sick, stay away from the hospital. If you come here to visit people, you will be turned away for your own safety. The object here is not to panic, because we just plain want to save lives. You look like a woman on a mission. I have to find my husband. He was with Luke earlier. Listen, you won't get two steps out that door without being shot or arrested. No one breaks quarantine. Let's go, Max. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Sir, why are you here? Hey, get that gun out of my, my face. My dad's sick. He didn't do anything wrong. All right. Get out of the car, all of you. All right. See, the doctor's going to be here any minute. Right. I want you to put that on. Okay? Hi, man. You're looking a little bit better. Here you go. Um, here's a blanket for you. I want you to put this on for me. Okay? All right. You have to go check on him and make sure he's okay. It's chaos out here, Elizabeth. I would do it myself, but they won't let me leave. But we got every available officer on call. Yeah, and doesn't that make you wonder why he's not out there as well? Jesse, he was, he was with Luke. He was with that chef. And a bunch of other people who have already turned up sick. Now, if he's got this thing and he's alone in that cabin... Jesse? Can you hear me? Jesse! Feels like the flu. Yeah, that's how it starts. They're still not sure how it's being spread, but they think that this chimpanzee that Luke Spencer brought back from the Markham Islands is the carrier. Michael play with the chimp. Yeah. I know. I sent him to the, the lab for a blood test. Here you go. Lucky came by to see me. Want to talk to me okay. about Manny, I guess. I don't know. It's... Here's how you open it. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, Lucky was exposed, and it's, it's possible that he could have passed this on to you. I'm so glad you came here. Honey, we're gonna take care of you, all right? There are people who are sick who need you. You need me. Where's Michael? Um, he's okay. He's being kept in the coffee shop with Max. That's where they're keeping everyone who's not sick. This is an epidemic. Carly, what about you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, Michael's waiting for me. You should be with Michael. I don't want to leave you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm all right. They're, they're taking good care of me.
an infected. Huh. He's not the carrier. Let's go to Luke. I want you to find Luke Spencer and put him into isolation. Wait in the coffee shop. Yeah, great. That's great. For how long? Two days? Two weeks? What, Dylan, you know? we've all been exposed to the virus. They can't just let us go home. Yeah, well, you know what? I can name about four movies that start out this way and they don't end well. Look, could you stop with the movie references? Lulu's in bad shape and I don't want to hear that it's hopeless. I didn't mean it like that. I'm, look, I'm sorry. I, I just, I get, you know, worried and I ramble and... I shouldn't have jumped all over you. I just wish I could do something. Me too. You know, it's really horrible that Lulu's waited her entire life to get noticed by her father, and when she finally does, he brings home this contagious virus. But you blame Luke for bringing this epidemic? I don't blame anybody. I'm just scared. So many people we love and care about work in this hospital. Your mom, your dad, um, Elizabeth, Robin, and Maxie decided that she's Florence Nightingale. What happened to Lulu could happen to anybody. And all we can do is sit in this coffee shop and wait. At least we got you out of that ER cubicle. I don't know how anyone can rest with half the hospital passing by. All right, little miss. We've given you some fever-reducing medication, so... Where's my daddy? Lulu? Can you hear me? Sure I can. You're standing right there. Oh. I guess I'm pretty sick. Yeah. We think it's the same virus your father had. Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he seems to be doing a lot better. Is he with me? Right by your side, until we made him leave. I thought he was there, it was... Everything's so mixed up. You had a pretty high fever. You were delirious for a while. Did I say anything stupid? No, honey. I mean, did I start crying or asking my dad to stay with me? Oh, I hate it when I do that. I have to be strong. He yeah. says it proves that I'm a Spencer. Honey, your dad loves you. And he wanted me to tell you that he knows you can beat this. He said that I'd be glad if I spent time with him. And you're right. He's pretty cool. And so is his daughter. Your dad is awfully proud of you. Well, you know, I appreciate all this attention you guys are giving me and everything, but I feel a lot better. In fact, I could go home. You could give this bed to somebody. Ow! Sit quietly, Mr. Spencer. What? Dr. Scorpio is on her way. Well, then she can tell you. What, what are you doing? Hey, what the hell is this? What the, what's going on? I'm sorry, Luke. So you don't leave. Well, it's kind of kinky, and it might be fun if I were in the mood, but... The chimp came up clean, didn't he? I'm afraid so. Well, no, Kazar was right. It was me. I brought this in on everybody. Where'd it go? Through the vent. Okay, we gotta stop before it affects everybody in town. Okay. Excuse me, um, nobody's really supposed to leave. Oh, right. Okay. Follow me. Okay. Okay, you got my listening. No, you you read too much. Yeah. Zen is thinking it out of control pretty fast. You gotta get away from me, okay? Before you catch this. It was too late for that, Sonny. I was exposed long before you got here. Oh, I've already hurt you too much. Sonny, I'm a big girl. All right, I knew what I was getting into with you. You don't understand what I'm saying. Sonny. I'm gonna tell you right now. No, 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 listen, be still, all right? Just save your strength. There are people who are sicker than me. Who need you? Sonny, you're plenty sick, all right? And besides, this is where I wanna be. So, you know, they're gonna take good care of your dad here. I just don't like being away from him. I know, but they won't let us see Lulu either. The doctors are really, really strict because the disease spreads so quickly. That's why everybody's here in the cafeteria, just until they make sure it's safe. Oh, I don't care if I get sick. Hey, your dad will care. If I let anything happen, he's gonna get in my head. Yeah, the last thing your dad wants is for you to get this thing, whatever it is. I mean, 
There's nothing worse than... There's nothing worse than having somebody... Oh, my God, Dylan! Lulu? 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 How's she doing? Well, she was awake and coherent for a few minutes, and now she's falling back to sleep, and her temperature is not going down. Is that normal? Well, we don't know enough about this virus to know what normal is yet. God, there are so many patients. I don't know how we can treat them all. And I feel like I should be down in the ER helping out with triage, but I just, I don't want to leave her. Tell you what, I'm going to assign you to her case. All right, you're still going to have to circulate, but I want you to spend 15 minutes out of every hour checking in on her, okay? okay. And if her temperature keeps rising, then uh, I want you to contact me directly. Okay, I understand. You know you're doing an excellent job, Elizabeth. Uh, uh, not really. I tried to sneak out a half hour ago to find Lucky. Just because you're on staff doesn't mean that you're not human. The point is, you're here, you're doing your job. That's all they can ask of us. Thank you, Dr. Jones. Good work, Nurse Spencer. <laughs> Dad, do you have a minute? Brooks, what are you doing up in here? Why aren't you in the isolation area in the coffee shop? I had to see you. I mean, I know that you're busy, but it'll only take a minute. Are you are you worried that you caught the infection? No, I'm I'm fine. Okay. It's obvious I've been exposed. I was with Lulu in the ER. Anyway, she was sick and she was delirious and she was talking about her dad and uh, and asking why he didn't love her. And I, I know Lulu, she wouldn't say something like that if she was in her right mind. So, if, if I get sick and, and become delusional and start blurting things out, I, uh, I thought that you would deserve to hear this from me. Dad, I'm, I'm gay. You're still here. Yeah. Where else would I be? In the cafeteria with all the other people who aren't infected. Uh, if I was going to catch this thing, what happened in my home? We were about as close as two people can get, don't you think? Oh, God. The evening was not supposed to end like this. Why? You think I regret making love to you? How shallow would that make? You know, you're not supposed to see me like this is the first time we get naked together. I'm supposed to be backlit and looking fabulous. <laughs> and I had a whole other idea for that word delirious, you know? I wanted to, I wanted to save it for the high sweats and fever and the exploding head for the second time that we're together. There will be a second time. I promise you that. What do we got? Luke Spencer's test results. Specifically, what am I looking for here? Luke is producing the antibodies to fight the disease. So Luke has it. Yeah. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> now, one of us has to ask you to do the unselfish thing. Do you want to draw straws? First. Something's not right. I have a bad feeling about this flight. Don't do it, man! Mayday! Mayday! Poor Charles is at risk for a major epidemic. Can we get some help here? Is anyone alive? We're going down! A lot of people are going to die. You know, I, I realize that this is neither the time or the place that either of us would have chosen for this, but um, I'm glad you told me. Do you mean that? Do you think I'd have a problem with it? I don't know, Mom did. I didn't plan to tell her and not you. It's just some stuff happened when you were out of town and 
and it all blew up and she found out that I was gay and I just assumed Lucas she wasn't okay with it I, I, I assumed that you wouldn't be either and mom loves you just as much as I do she just found out you were gay and she had to revise her expectations but uh, she just wants you to be happy that's all I want for you I'm sorry. I should have. Uh, I should have been honest with you before. I, 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 I should have trusted you. You told me when you were ready, and I know it wasn't easy. Lucas, I have loved you all your life. I am so proud to be your father. So proud. Now, do your dad a favor, all right? Go to the isolation area so I know you're safe. Is that cool? He was fine one minute, and the next... Georgia, I'm fine. I'll be... I'll be fine. Just go and have him. Um, Max, don't get too... Let's go to your phone, okay, buddy? Okay, you stand back, miss. No! I'm going with him. He's dizzy. That doesn't mean he's infected. No, we can't take the risk. Wait. Georgie, don't, don't. Georgie, honey, just let him do his job, okay? Hey, they're going to take good care of him, okay? Just like they take care of Dad, right? I know it's hard. It's okay. Mm -hmm. At least Dylan's in the hospital. Something to be grateful for. Lucky! Lucky, you in here? Lucky! How are you feeling? Oh, it's nice to have a bed. How'd I get so lucky? Dr. Jones arranged for you and Lulu to be roommates. You know they're asking anyone who's not showing symptoms to go down to the coffee shop. I'm not leaving, Scott. Dad, where are you? Here's Lulu. It's okay, uh, honey. It's Elizabeth. I'm here. We're just, just trying to rest, okay? Oh, God. She must be delirious. Does that happen to me? Uh, you've been in and out. I hope I haven't said anything too embarrassing. Not a thing. You're lying. I'm being discreet. The perfect gentleman. That's the least you deserve. Stop being so wonderful, okay? It scares me, and I'm scared enough already, all right? All right, all right. You're going to be fine. I'm going to see you through this, whatever it takes. Why did you leave me, Dad? Did I do something wrong? Sweetheart, you didn't do anything wrong. Your dad's nearby. He's gonna come <clears throat> see you as soon as he can, okay? Let me out of here, Robert. Oh, you don't want that. Your body's managed to get over the encephalitis by itself. Well, no, that's because of the booze, Doctor. No germ could live in this petri dish I call a liver. Well, your liquid lifestyle's paid off. You're producing a natural antibody. Good. So, what happens now? Well, we go in and isolate whatever it is in your blood and make a serum out of it and then see if it works. Do I get a say in this? You got a problem against being a hero, Luke? I got a big problem with being a government guinea pig. Unless it helps my daughter. That's the plan. Well, then, scrub up and dig in. Well, uh... There's good news and bad news. I mean, the good news is, think of all the lives we can save. And the bad news is, well, yours may not be one of them. Uh -huh. Well, if it's a choice between my life and Lulu's, there's no contest. Do whatever you have to do. It's all about lies, isn't it? Too many lies. 
Sonny, try to rest. I wish I could take it back. How I've hurt you. I understand, but it's over now. It was fake. The kiss with Carly. I wanted to make you believe that I lo I still loved her. Just so I could push you away. How did you know about this egg? I used to sneak out when I worked here. What? Tune for scenes from the next General Hospital. Next week on General Hospital. I'm still looking for Courtney. Call me as soon as you can, okay? Are you all right? No, no, I'm okay. I love you. Emily, I love you. You've got to hang on. You're saying we should decide who's good enough to live. My daughter gets the serum or somebody.